Now to the chaos happening in Haiti. Gangs launching a violent assault on the presidential palace overnight. The Caribbean nation's capital city, Port-au-Prince, paralyzed by gang violence, leaving Americans stranded, desperate to flee. And we want to warn you, some of these images are disturbing. Here's ABC's Inez de la Catara. Tonight, Haiti paralyzed by an explosion of violence. This elderly woman caught in the crossfire during a shootout between police and gangs in downtown Port-au-Prince. She survived. The fierce fighting forcing thousands of residents to flee their homes. Natasha, now in a shelter with her three children, saying, I've become a nomad. The government extending a state of emergency, armed gangs launching a massive coordinated assault against multiple government buildings, including the presidential palace. After attacking prisons, freeing close to 5,000 prisoners over the last week, gang kingpin Jimmy Barbecue Cherizier says the goal is to force acting Prime Minister Ariel Henry to step down, but warning of civil war and genocide if he does not. This as the State Department urges Americans to leave, but with both international airports closed, foreigners now stranded. Canadian citizen Richard Phillips could hear gunshots ringing out from his hotel. The country just deteriorated really, really quickly. The, the real fear is that if the police force collapses in Haiti, you become very vulnerable as a hostage, quite frankly. The acting prime minister was in Kenya when the violence first broke out and is now stuck in Puerto Rico. The U.S. says it has encouraged him to reach a compromise to end the ongoing political stalemate. Which truly alarming developments in Haiti. And as thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.